So I, when I was asked to do the presentation, I uh, called Smith Emory Labs and asked them to send me some photos so that I could have some graphics. Uh, this is one of the photos that you're seeing right now that they sent. I don't actually know what they're doing with it. It's pretty impressive, though. And um, if, if that sign is correct, and I understand it correctly, it's 264,000 pounds of compression. That's pretty impressive. Um, a couple of information, a little bit of information about what you'll see in the presentation. There are some areas where I use blue text, and I've used blue text where I have used text from the code verbatim. It is quote unquote from from the from the code. I've used italic text. Uh, I spelled that wrong, didn't I? I've, I've used italic test text where where I have uh, code defined words, and that that's the same format that the uh, code uses. I've used words like must and shall, where the code says these must be done or they shall be done. But but I have also made uh, scattered throughout the presentation suggestions recommendations and I have uh, used words like should and maybe um, where they are recommendations but not code requirements. Um, so a couple of thoughts about chapter 17. It's but unlike other chapters, other technical chapters, if you're a structural engineer at least, uh, chapter 16, you're in there every day along with chapters uh, 11 and 12, and maybe 13 and ASCE. We, we know every line of those, but we don't tend to get to chapter 17 until we're forced with putting together the uh, testing and inspection requirements on a project. So it's, it's kind of my experience and observation is people don't pay as much attention to it uh, except when they really need to use it. But it's a very important part of what we do is uh, putting together the, the testing and inspections. Um, one observation that, I, that has always been true about Chapter 17 is that it, it's a little bit difficult to grasp the whole Chapter 17 because there are requirements that are scattered throughout Chapter 17 that you need to know. Uh, there are um, provisions and concepts that are distributed to multiple paragraphs. And, it, and the way I view it, it makes it a little bit hard to understand. And I've tried to maybe improve on that a bit by grouping uh, concepts rather than um, putting the ideas together in the uh, where they appear in the uh, chapter. So I, I had, well, there are some specific goals for uh, today's webinar. And these may be mostly my goals, but um, the the idea is to make uh, chapter uh, 17 more understandable, to be able to use the requirements of chapter 17, and ultimately to uh, prepare a uh, uh, testing and inspection requirements for a project that are appropriate to the project, that are clear to use and complete. We don't ever want to be incomplete on our construction documents. Uh, but on the other hand, you don't want to over-specify because that just costs usually the owner money. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go through a statement that I make on the next slide in, in one second. Um, I'll go through the chapter organization and I'll just briefly give you an outline of, the, uh, of my presentation so you have some idea of where I'm going. So, like every uh, presentation of this sort, uh, I have a, a statement. I didn't call it a disclaimer because that sounds too legal to me. But, but I've, I've tried to put together all the information I could as accurately as I can and as completely as I can. But it's like anything. There, there's going to be more information that is not here that I you know, maybe it's more obscure than I was able to get. Um, I, I may not have accurately or completely transcribed information from sources. So 
if you use this or if you use the spreadsheet that you can download, um, don't just copy and paste it. Um, I'll be going through the spreadsheet in, a little, in the second half of the uh, presentation, but read it, make sure you understand it. I've given uh, ample code references throughout this presentation, so finding what I'm talking about or uh, the ideas of what I'm talking about should not be hard to do. It's like any other reference, you're the engineer of record. Well, I don't know that everybody's an engineer of record. Maybe maybe your user, maybe use the uh, statement. But, but, but all of this information should be verified before it gets put onto construction. 